Should left-handed people be discriminated? Should society hate everyone who isn't right-handed? Well, one of my favorite YouTube clips is called Ban Left Marriage. And this video argues that yes, left-handed people should be shunned. The video points out, correctly I might add, that left-handed people were discriminated in Western civilization until less than a century ago. There was a lot of taboos and discriminatory policies and so on. And there's still a lot of prejudice and discrimination against people who are not right-handed in many countries in the world. Less than a hundred years ago, it was very hard to be left-handed in Western civilization. We had these discriminatory policies and taboos and everything. The core thing is that we divide people into two groups, where one group is closer to God and the other group is closer to the devil. One good group, one bad group. Of course, Christians were always considered better than non-Christians. Like Christianity, or at least the right sect of Christianity, was by God and all other religions and non-religions were by the devil. And in the same way, being male was closer to God, being female were closer to the devil, being white were closer to God, being of color was closer to the devil, and so on and so on. You may have heard about the left hand path. Using the left hand was associated with dark magic and such. But we don't have that anymore. The discrimination is gone, the taboos are gone. Most equipment can be used by either hand these days. It's not hard to find the tools you need, even if you're left handed. So, well, it's a little harder sometimes, but not much. It's not any big discrimination anymore. All in all, we have achieved equality in Western civilization when it comes to the use of hand. And that's why the video Ban Left Marriage is so efficient. It proves that it's just as reasonable to discriminate based on hand as it is to discriminate based on color or sexual orientation. And of course, this goes the other way too, that it's just as unreasonable to discriminate based on color or orientation. In the end, everyone should just be treated as a person, be given a fair chance and get to develop his or her life without being held back by discriminatory laws or taboos or social structures or policies. Break all of that bullshit down. We are there now when it comes to uh, what hand you use, but we're not there yet when it comes to uh, color, gender and sexual orientation. Solving this problem with skin color isn't all that hard. It's fading away by itself. I think in less than a century, what color your skin is won't matter more than what color your hair is or your eyes are. I'm talking politically, of course. I mean, skin color does matter sometimes in a purely biological sense. For example, a few weeks ago, I went to the ocean at Sumatera, the, one of the big islands of Indonesia. It was a lovely swimming trip with two friends. One of them was from Sweden and the other Indonesian. And of course, both my Swedish friend and I got a really serious sunburn, got really red and skin started to falling off in spite of using sunblock. Our Indonesian friend did not use sunblock and she didn't get burned. Dark skin is much better at handling the sun than uh, white skin is. In the same way, white skin is better at handling long dark winters than dark skin is. It's better at producing the vitamins that people need. But this is a minor issue. White people can just 
watch themselves a bit when they're close to the equator and people of color can just make sure to get more sun or vitamin injections if they live up in the north. So it's not a big problem, we don't have to make a lot of political fuss about it, not after all the bad social structures have melted away. Social structure as such is not a bad thing, but oppressive social structure is something we have to fight against. So what about gender then? I mean, when it comes to skin color and sexual orientation, it's just to give everybody the same rights and treat people the same. But with gender, aren't there inherent relevant difference? Well, I would say that these differences are getting smaller and smaller with each decade. Society is much more equal now than it was a century or two ago. But we have this much better technology now and civilization works much better. Women don't die in childbirth like they used to. And we have social structures where not everything is dependent on your clan or family or parents or whatever. This makes it much easier to be an individual regardless of your gender. This development is not likely to stop tomorrow. Technology will keep getting better and society will keep getting more advanced. The physical and reproductive differences between men and women keeps getting smaller and smaller. And we have these trans people now. There have always been people who have not been comfortable in their physical body, but now we can change a bit. And these changes keep getting better and better. A few decades from now, maybe everybody can change their gender whatever way they want to, or get pregnant without changing their body at all, even if they don't have room. Just make artificial fetus process. I don't know exactly how technology will work, but the thing is, the differences keep getting smaller and less relevant. It's a really interesting development. Who knows, maybe in a century being male or female will be just like being right-handed or left-handed. Like, yes, there are some differences, but they don't have to matter at all. People who are in favor of gender roles keep arguing that society has always had them, and yeah, that's probably true. It's not like gender roles has always been the same, but yes, there has always been gender roles in all societies we know about. But society never had a chance for equality before. This is a new scene. I don't mean that gender roles should be forbidden or some bullshit like that. I mean that each individual should be allowed to choose his or her own gender identity. If you want to have a gender identity at all, and if so, what it means to you. Instead of having two roles that everybody gets squeezed into against their will, everybody should be free to pick and choose, have a gender identity or not, and if you have one, let it be whatever you want it to be have a lot of options to choose from or disregard. Let's just be people.